Hey, prayer warriors. I had an encounter with the Lord today that I really want to share with you and encourage your hearts. I was praying, just enjoying my time before the Lord. The anointing of God came on me, very heavy anointing, and instantly I was in the spirit. And there in the heavenlies, I saw two large groups of beings. On the one side was a large group of angels, angels of God. And I could just feel the strength. I could see the glory of God upon them and that they were ready to do the Lord's bidding. On the other side, there was a large group of people. Now they were believers. They likewise had the glory of God on them. And it seemed like they were standing for the purposes and the cause of Jesus. Then I heard a loud voice, just boom, thundering. And it said, do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And then that part of the encounter finished, but the Spirit of God was still on me. So I grabbed my phone and I turned to 2 Kings 6. And that 16th verse was the one that the Spirit of God was quoting to me. But he took me back to verse 8, and I'm going to read it to you and just share with you the running commentary the Spirit of God gave to me. Now the king of Syria was making war against Israel, and he consulted with his servant, saying, My camp will be in such and such a place. In other words, the strategies of the enemy. And the Spirit of God was impressing upon me that we are facing an enemy today. We know that. It's the devil. It's the demons of hell. Uh, it's Jezebel, spirit of Antichrist. Um, you know, the, um, the high places of Jezebel, the prophets of Jezebel, the dragon from the east, those kinds of things. And all of them opposing the purposes of God. And they have strategies, okay? Verse 9, And the man of God sent to the king of Israel, saying, Beware that you do not pass this place, for the Syrians are coming down there. In other words, the Spirit of God was revealing prophetically to the prophet. And the Spirit of God just impressed upon me at that point how that the prophetic nature of the church is a vital thing right at this point. We must listen to the Spirit of God. We must allow Him to reveal to us the plans of the enemy so that they can be thwarted. And we thwart them in the spiritual realm so that that can also manifest in the natural realm. Verse 10, then the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the man of God had told him. Thus he warned him and he was watchful there, not just once or twice. So in other words, this happened repeatedly. God was revealing the strategy of the enemy to the prophets. We have many good prophets in the world and in America today. And we have the prophetic nature of the church. We can hear if we stay out of the flesh, if we stay out of the second heaven realm with the deceptions and the impressing of fear and all that kind of stuff on us so that we misdiagnose, we misinterpret. But if we stay true to the Lord and hear the truth of the Spirit of God, He will reveal the plans and allow us to avoid them and to also counter them. Verse 11, Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was greatly troubled by this thing. And he called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? In other words, there's a spy. One of you guys is a spy. You've been going around, you're telling our enemy. And of course it wasn't. So verse 12, And one of the servants said, No, Lord, none. But Elisha, the prophet who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. God knows even the words spoken in secret of the enemy, and he knows how to bring them into the open. Praise God. 13. So he said, go and see where he is that I may send and get him. And it was told him, saying, Surely he is in Dothan. Therefore he sent horses and chariots and a great army there. And they came by night and surrounded the city. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, 
there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. See, man's devices, man's schemes, man's war plans, man's war machines, all of the things that men and those who are opposed to Christ and the men and women of God, all of those things they use are in the natural, spiritually induced, demonically influenced, but in the natural. So when the man saw that, and his servant said to Elisha, alas, my master, what shall we do? That's one of the questions that's in the body of Christ right now. What shall we do? How do we confront all of this chaos that's going on in our nation? Listen to Elisha. He answered the servant, do not fear. The very first thing that we have to understand, the spirit of God's in present, just talking to me about that. And he says, do not fear. Why do you fear about those physical circumstances? Man's war plans, strategies, and machines are nothing compared to God. Do not fear for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And the spirit of God spoke to me. And he said, up to now, you've always read that as the angels, but I want you to know that it's also believers. Not only is the number of angels that are out there, uh, the chariots of God, greater than the demonic spirits and all of the strategies of the enemy, but there is what you and I might call a silent majority, a godly majority, a huge number of people that outnumbers those that are against us. It is the minority that is causing all of the ruckus, the screams of the demonic hordes coming from their mouths and from their actions and the violence in the atmosphere and the demands that they're um, bringing against America and against our president, et cetera. And the Lord just simply said this. It was so strong in my heart. It brought about great peace. He said that the number of angels are greater and the number of people that are for us are greater than those that are against us. It's a huge number of people. There are going to be many surprises this year and particularly in this election coming up. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold, the mountains were full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. You see, those chariots of fire are there. But more than that, I'm really trying to emphasize that people of fire, people of the fire of God, the fire of the Holy Spirit, the fire of the truth of God, the fire of knowing right from wrong, the fire of a conscience that is absolutely um, ablaze with the revelation of God, the fire of revival, the fire is upon these people. And that large number that I saw in the spirit, they are there. They may be silent now, many of them, but they are there. And there's going to be a lot of effect that they have. The Lord told me that on planet Earth today, that there are more spiritual prayer warriors than there has been in our lifetime. He said, don't be deceived into thinking that it's diminishing or that people are uh, beginning to shrink back and out of fear, they're just uh, hiding away. He said, in the spiritual realm, there are more that are for us than there are who are against us. It's a large praying army of believers, prophetic eagles, those who take the name of the Lord, the word of the Lord, and by faith decree and prophesy 
and move in the spiritual realm and see the strategies of the enemy and report it in the spiritual realm to be disclosed, to be trumped, the strongholds, to be torn down, not just from below, but by third heaven authority to be torn down by being stomped on from above. The Lord is moving. And those of you who have spiritual eyes, watch the form of the Lord and you will see him working and moving. Do not fear for those who are for us are greater in number, angels and people, than those who are against us. And we shall see the victory of the Lord. It's going to be hard fought. We have to stay true. Faith and patience. We'll walk it out. But just stand in confidence. Live your life. Now listen to my wording. Live your life as if the victory has already been won. We war from victory, not to victory. Because in the spirit, the victory is already ours. So stand and go forward in faith. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person watching this video now. And those who their spirit is willing to open and to receive this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, please the anointing of the living God for third heaven authority, for boldness, for prophetic ability, for using their mouths and their faith and their words yielded to the spirit of God to release victory into this earth. I pray for them. I pray for supernatural strength. I pray for health. I pray for supernatural finances. I pray for wisdom. I pray that there's protection on them and their families. And Lord God, thank you for that huge number of people. And I say this to the enemy. You have lost. We have won. In Jesus' name. Won't you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also visit our website. You'll notice the link is in the description below wordoflifeworldoutreach.org. While you're there, there's a link on the homepage to a specific prayer for this season. And so that would be a big help to you. Also, you'll notice on our donation page that you can become a partner of the ministry. I would invite you to do so for the glory and for the anointing and the revelation that's on this ministry to be bonded to your life. So God bless you all.